And ahoy! Welcome to this week's Sunday Fun Day as we play Apocalypse Party, which is kind of like a bullet hell ish game. Um, haven't really looked too much into this, so we're going to jump in and see what this has to offer. So we're obviously going to be English. I think it's got a bit of story here. Russell, Russell. Day two of the zombie crisis. Suburbs, Officer Kim's house. Oh, walking up the stairs. Clank, clank, clink, clank. Jane, Becky, are you home? Becky, are you playing pinball? No more hiding. Daddy's back. I've got no eyes. Of course I don't know what's going on. Creak. He raised his, raised his torch up. That's a big old eye. Oh, that's his, that's his wife chomping on his daughter. Chomp, chomp, chomp. That's a bit sad. Huh. This is a good way to start a game. Twelve days later. Kim, why are you still in the affected area? Weren't you ordered to evacuate? Well, apparently I don't care. Project Zero has been approved, and now the bombers are right over your head. I guess that's probably some nuclear weapons of some sort. Are you out of your mind, Kim? Kim! He's taken off his earpiece, he doesn't want to listen to this. Becky, daddy's here. Cat Powie! I guess this is the obviously the start of um, the uh, apocalypse party. So this is the apocalypse. Here, wake up. Oh no, did I forget to put some? Ah, oh, finally I'm awake. My name is Capybara, uh, but never mind that for now. Keep your eyes on what's ahead. Okay, so this... I like the... The fact you can actually aim yourself, follow Capybara's instructions to survive. I'm sure I'll survive just fine. Can I pick up some of these? So here it is. This is kind of the rogue-like aspect. So I've got firearm damage. This upgrades my firearm. I've got firearm. This upgrades deadly chase, movement speed while reloading. Increases firearm and movement speed. And Hermes is attack speed and movement. So we're going to go for extra fire damage here. Don't worry about running into mobs. I'll alert you with red flashes when they attack. Okay, this is a lot better now, this pistol. Keep an eye out for orange weapons. So we've got a, f a fairy staff. Okay, this is a pretty cool weapon. I quite like this, actually. I'm not going to lie. What's this? Store five points of armor. I've got four armor, so I don't need to worry about that. So this isn't very good at close range. But it, it just shoots them in half. That's great. And obviously you have to reload it. Dual revolvers. Yes, please. Oh, I can't aim with these. It's good to know. So this is quite an interesting like uh, take on the kind of survival-esque type of games. Okay, there's armor there. We'll grab some more armor. So you've got like a mini map you can go around explore a little. Go pew pew some of these zombies up here. So apparently I'm meant to follow his instructions and survive. I leveled up again. Clip capacity. Ooh, this one. Staff of um, Ant Anton... Anton... I'm not going to pronounce that. Equipment obtained. The staff. When shooting the first bullet with firearms, fires a projectile. It's probably going for clip capacity and reload speed actually. Oh, we've got a Glock here. This is quite satisfying. We've got a holy bell. Is this a new weapon? This is a new weapon. It counts as a firearm. Okay, so I physically have to aim where I want. Oh, I want to. This is quite useful, actually. Quite a good weapon. Because I can aim where I want it to hit. I can keep running away. Um, there's a box just there to the left, so we're going to make our way over there. Uh, I can't right click to aim. So, 
Uh, can I sprint? Okay, so I can't sprint. And they, they're now starting to fire things at me. Okay, sniper. I don't really want a sniper rifle. Multi shot. A projectile fired by you. Split. Okay, I'm not firing projectiles at the moment. Fire and fire and speed. Every bit increases movement speed by. Resets upon reload. No. Okay, let's go for this one. Fire rate. We just keep running around, grabbing as many of these chests as possible. Uh, Desert Eagle. Ooh, um, I quite like this fire rate, actually, so I'm not going to go for that. I've got full armor. I've got full health, so I don't need this armor just there on the left. So I can turn auto attack on. Uh, let's grab this chest down here. Anything good in here? Rick's portal gun. Okay, we're not going to use that. <laughs> All we're killing is obviously we're getting experience. Experience is donated down here on the left-hand side. Vector SMG. Uh, no, I'm not going to change it. I do quite like this. Wouldn't mind getting some more... Oh, an AK-47. Okay, I'm not a fan of this. Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, actually, no, it's not too bad. I was expecting to be able to aim down sights, so, or like at least get better accuracy, but you can't. Right. Uh, hey, having a hard time deciding what? You see those tags? So these tags are obviously what's better. So this one, I can. Thanks. I can, yeah, I, I can combine talents fine. Right, this one. Go for this. So I've got a toilet that follows me now, which shoots projectiles. Ooh, pistol. Okay, that, that toilet's pretty good. What's this? Oh, and a uh, wizard staff shoots lasers and then explodes. But it's continuous damage. That's really useful. So even when it's... So I don't need to reload this. I can just keep spamming the, uh, the attack. It's fair enough, the attack doesn't do much. Crusader's crossbow? No, we don't need that. What's this? Okay, I think that might give me some health if I had any health missing. Okay, now I need to reload it. Daryl's crossbow, that's obviously a nod to the walking dead. So I like the fact that it just jumps me straight into a match. And then you just have to survive. LMG. Ooh. Right, what do we need here? Deadly shot. Increases fire. Clip capacity. Armed drone. Let's get a drone to follow us as well. Let's go back to the fairy. Not bad, you can start. Oh, Okay. Is, did it just decide that I didn't need to carry on anymore? This is the kingdom of Wilson. There was a zombie outbreak here three years ago. But it's okay. The cobblers are the three demons hiding in these altars. Take care of them and I would explain everything. Well, I'm right next to that altar right now. So you can see me in the background. I like the fact you can actually see my character. It's pretty cool. So there's an altar just there. Can I open a map? Okay. Oh, that's a big map as well. Okay, that doesn't increase any damage or anything. So if I press tab, it pauses and I can see what I've got here. All my upgrades. Got nothing down here. And all my stats just there. And if I press M, the map doesn't stop. The game doesn't pause. But I can see what's going on around me. That's really good. Uh, press E. Okay, at level 6. So I've now activated this. So the boss is called Ancient Titan Tiny. Oh, I need to stay in this, I guess. And I'm just going to keep pew-pewing him. I don't want to just focus on him. I do want to just keep running around. So as we go around in circles, I can just keep hopefully hitting him while we run around. This time my drone can take damage as well. And we leveled up again. Awesome. Last building clip is... Ooh. Let's just, just increase the damage. Just flat out damage. Well, let's try and avoid all this damage coming into me. So we do need some more armor now. So you took a bit of a hit there. We can take seven more of that armor. That's the first one dealt with. Awesome. This is a really cool game, actually. Really enjoying this. Got some dice. Reroll options. Ode to death. Briefly enters soul state. Let's grab that one. Fireball. We'll grab fireball. Okay, if I right click. Okay, that's quite cool. Uh, I guess we can just rest. And we can go on. You only have one second period, so 
sacred ability obviously i dropped off that boss my sacred ability is a fireball and it looks like it's got a cooldown okay the cooldown's at the bottom of the screen so i've got until it reaches 100 percent so i can use it again i can keep running around grabbing some more uh, weapons if i wanted to and i will because uh, it's very useful to have more weapons so i can see what's out there i like this staff though this stuff is very good so hopefully we get to go quite far before the use of force control and extra firearm dealing Ooh, go for this i did not want to press this okay so my so i can actually physically have two weapons that's cool so i want to kind of get rid of this sniper rifle then I can have double. I can have like double. Um, is this like a John Wick gun? I, d I didn't even see what this was. But I move while I'm firing. There's a trebuchet up here. What's this trebuchet? Is this to move me? Launch. Okay. Well, that's one way to get into the castle. Um, there is a boss up here in the castle. So we can fight him hopefully next. We need to be level 12 though. So we are three levels away. Uh, right, what have we got here? Uh, fire and damage upgraded to fire and frost damage. Increases fire and damage upgraded to fire damage. And add, just adds fire damage. Let's three roll. See if we're going to be good. Each different tagged. No, it's not really good. Three roll again. Ooh, upon death. Um... Of a summoned entity, its soul is sacrificed to an evil spirit. With enough souls. Ooh. That sounds cool. Oh, a holy bell, yes, please. So I can should be able to make my way through this. There's a lot of mobs here, but that's fine. Yeah, easies. So still need three levels. What's in this one? SMG, don't need any more SMGs. I'm happy with what I've got. What's this one? Sniper rifle, once again, pretty happy with what I've got. So I've got a big, kind of big head on me now. Big skull of undead. Screaming mine. That looks like a bird that goes mine. Mini investigation team. Three summoned entities investigate, so they talk nearby enemies and don't attack. Upon death, leave a dark zone for its place. Enemies who enter within range. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change the weapon. All that weapon did was made duck noises. It may have been strong, but it just made duck noises. That will just drive me crazy. Uh, so we can actually make our way. Let's check the map. We can make our way up here, and then we can turn left. We should be able to make our way to the second boss. Uh, we don't need any more armor. Quite, it does a lot of damage, that fireball. Uh, LMG, don't need a new LMG. I am really happy with what I've got here. An AK-47, don't need an AK, unfortunately. We will keep our fireball. So next time we... Oh, I leveled up, nice. Projectile damage, crit. Does my weapon actually do projectile damage? It doesn't. It says it's just firearm, so let's not get that. Each piece of... Uh, when a soul is about to be killed by projectile damage, fires a... Because oh, my... I don't think this counts as projectile either. That's just firearm. Every shot fired... Uh, I'm not shooting any rounds there. That's the only issue. We can go for this. Summoned it into a mini geisha. She fires projectiles. Let's go for this. She fires projectiles at the nearest um, with the weak, enemy with the weakest health. That does do more damage. I'm stuck. We can just keep making our way around, I guess. Okay, semi-automatic sniper rifle. Okay, it does extra damage, but it doesn't help us very much. Oh, that gives us extra armor, yes. Anything in here? Rattlesnake, let's go for this. 
Okay, that's too slow. Does no, no AoE. And we are now level 12. Dark damage, fire damage. Let's go for this. Right, ult number two. Let's activate this. The deer headed elf. Right, let's keep moving. We want to do a fireball in his direction. There we go, it did a load of damage. We'll keep running around in circles while we're attacking him. So he's almost half health, which is very useful. Oh, we got hit by that fire torn uh, poison tornado. And it got hit by another one. So I think having we might use our we might need to use our fireball in a second. But as soon as it uh, comes off cooldown. Right, let's avoid all these. So I'm really enjoying this actually. It's probably one of the better uh, survival-esque kind of games like this. Right, black hole. Can a black hole? Yes. Black hole sounds amazing. Reroll. What's this one? Okay, that just gives me... I don't know what that gave me. Drone already. Don't need drones. None left. Every six, six seconds, the overlord arrives to corrupt enemies within a certain range. Reduce their HP to one. Ineffective against bosses. The lower the percentage of the rain. Okay, let's go for this one. That sounds amazing. And we can restore all of our health and everything. So now, let's make our way to... So we need to get to level 18. So what level are we now? We're on level 13. Uh, so we're going to slowly make our way to the next boss. As we clear our way there, we should be fine. I'm going to test out this black hole in a minute as well. We're going to go this way because we haven't gone up here yet. Okay, we're not going to go this way because it's blocked. Oh no, this way is not. Okay, there's an AK-47 there. It's fine. Worship to Lady Luck. Don't know what that gave me or what that did. No idea. Right, let's make our way out. There's too many mobs in there. Let's just keep running away. Each piece of equipment increases weapon damage by 15. How many? I don't think we've got that many pieces of equipment, to be honest. We've got one. Enemies can corrupt. Summon a powerful entity. Frost Giant. Let's go for the Frost Giant. That sounds awesome. We've essentially gone for a summoning build now. I can attack them through walls with my um, with my bell. Do I want another? Yes, we want double lightning. We want double like um, staves. Everything should die very quickly now. And is there a way out this way? Doesn't look like it. So we'll go all the way to the end here. Okay, there's a machine gun there. That's semi-automatic rifle. There might be something at the end here. We never know. Oh, so we can actually restore our health here. So there's a banquet hall. Oh, what is this? Okay, loads of stuff just randomly on the floor. And then it looks like that is the the king. Boy, whether he's the king or not, I don't know. Increase fire damage. Well, fire. Let's go for this. Uh, so we still need three more levels. We, I, I need to pass. I need to get through here. But there's too many mobs. <laughs> um, oh no, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that worked. Um, inert evil. No, let's go for frost damage, firearm damage. I think that works. And then we'll just keep running. Obviously, we don't have anything that had frost, but we had firearms. Keep killing until level 18. So what level are we now? So I'm level 16. So just two more levels. There are a lot of mobs now chasing me. But let's keep pointing forward when we, when we can. So we need to make our way out of the castle. Uh, by doing so, there is a catapult just up here. We are almost level... There you go. We're le leveled up again. Let's re-spin this. Killing cut to enemies no longer passes on excessive damage, but instead causes explode. Yep, let's explode. Exploding enemies sounds awesome. I like the fact that I can give my... I've got the, the force. I can have a second weapon. 
Okay, so I can't get through there. So I need to find a way out of this castle. So I'm sure we will. Okay, there's a catapult just there on my left. This looks like it's going to take me into the right direction to launch me. And where am I going to land? Awesome. So I now need to go to the right. Because there's a whole part of the map over here. I guess we can't go there until we um, since you finish this area. But this is not bad for a first attempt. So, yeah, I would like to try a second attempt and maybe um, check out what the meta progression is like. So we're almost at level 18. Shouldn't take long to get there. There you go, level 18. Use demonic power to control an extra firearm. Yes, please. Right, let's go get another weapon. Uh, so we want that on number two. Not sure how good Rick's, uh, Rick's portal gun is, but we'll, we'll do it. And let's activate this one. So what have we got up here? Horseman of Fan. Oh my, what's going on? What's going on here? I'm stuck. I just got stuck. <laughs> Something really, like blew me away. So just got an achievement. Welcome to the tavern. Play one game. So if I didn't get stuck in that building, I think I would carry on. But that's fine. Oh, it's cap Capybara. Capybara, Capybara. I thought I was dead. Wait, you're a, you're a monster? Technically, I'm an angel who revives the unearthly. It helps them fulfill their wishes. A wish? Yes. As long as you take out the demons in three altars and end the plague, I'll grant you a wish. Such as revive your daughter. Here. The contract that will make your wish come true. Walk out that door with it and, and the battle begins. So there are different weapons, uh, different characters. So new content unlock. So if I complete one game, I get some of those. Unlocking condition complete. So I haven't completed. Oh, I have completed a game. Sorry. I, I thought I meant it was in win a game. So you get overtime. Let's have a look. Let's let's see what this screen's all about. So overtime, you get your character will slowly get better. So you have got a bit of lore for each character. That's pretty cool. And then veteran officer weapon uh, crates contain only firearms. Okay, but I have firearm damage. If I get to level two, weapon crates contain only firearms, and then I reload quicker. And then level three. So ah, so I need to reach clear chapter three or above okay let's catalog these are all the weapons i can get oh look how cool that is you to get them you need to do certain uh, achievements okay that's good good to know gladio what's the gladio all about gladio max maxine oh uh, satan out of all people you chose to piss him off can okay, the genius biographer king of the arena weapon crates only uh, contain melee weapons Kill 250 enemies, grants a medal. Each medal increases damage by 5% and max HP by 10. You only have 5 medals. Let's give this guy a go. Let's jump straight in. So the meta progression will be each individual character going to level up over time. And you just, you just give this a go. So I'm just going to keep holding down attack. Oh, that's a lot better. And I, I move a little bit faster as well. So as I've discovered some places, what's this down here? Ooh. So what's this? Okay. Goddess of recovery, fine. So attack speed's a bit slow, but that's fine. Uh, oh, talking of attack speed, right? All range effects have a larger radius. Ooh. That'll be good. Sumo Wrestler. More melee damage. Significantly increases. So I want attack speed. Attack, if I'm, I'm going to go for like two-handed weapons. So heavy attacks. And... Yes, yeah, so I want to go for heavy attacks. And I want to go for... Uh, quick. That's the build I'm going to go for. Flame wheel. What's a flame wheel? Okay. This is something. Okay, um, it's definitely unique. 
Alright, what's this? Worship Lady Luck. Got a new reroll option. Nice. I'm actually really, really enjoying this. I've said it a couple of times. After killing five enemies with melee weapons, increase the range of the next melee attack. Uh, got the buzzsaw barrel. Cast the buzzsaw barrel towards the mouse position. Does melee damage. Let's go for that. That's cool. I definitely want to change wep uh, weapon because this is a bit. There we go. That's this is slightly better, but not my two-handed weapon I wanted. Uh, this might okay. This this might be it. Uh, so I want to be level 6 to fight the first boss. Okay, that, was, that this is quite a nice weapon, actually. So I just chop through all the mobs. Okay, so hopefully we can actually finish it around this time around. We'll see what happens. So this is just chapter 1. Uh, like, obtain the uh, slash win slash. Melee attacks have slight chance to trigger explosions. Plus fate percent damage. Let's go for Shatter and Slash. Okay, it says it has a chance, but its chances seem to be relatively high actually. Oh, I took that hit just because it itched my nose. Oopsies. What's this? I picked this up last time. Oh, it's just, it's just some um, fireworks. Okay. Go chop, chop, chop. This is quite fun. This is satisfying. Satisfying. Uh, like it's not too difficult, at least at the moment. I call BS on how my last guy died, but that's just, you know, my only opinion. There we go. Hit an enemy with a melee weapon has a good chance of increasing the range of the next no, attack speed. Let's get the attack speed up. Yeah, attack speed is probably the way forward. Moon Goddess, is this any good? I don't have any movements with this one. That's the only issue. Um, ah, so you have to be the level. Fine. I tried to activate it early to see if I can just fight it early. Demon skull, what's this? Okay. This is good. Just an aura. So if I increase my rate um, range attacks, this would be really good. Really good aura attack. So this just slowly kills everything around me. Lightbringer. Don't nope, pick up demon skull, please. It's quite enjoyable. This weapon's fun. Uh, leveled up. Uh, let's go for melee attacks against enemies of more than six. It's guaranteed to score. Oh, that's amazing. And that's really cool. So when I stop attacking, it, I well, it depends how many enemies I kill, I will do like a super attack. go but it tells me I can do a super attack I can let go and it'll do a super attack okay just gonna keep running around in circles now I can cast my attack oh another level awesome right let's go for oh, attack speed I don't think it's gonna be that useful equipment retain shadow warrior copies your melee attack yeah, let's go for that. Because hopefully he'll do also cast the attack as well. Like now. Like, okay, he doesn't do it. That's a shame. I got my first medal, which is nice. One of five. There, cast another attack. Okay, cast that. Okay, there it is. Cast another attack as well. Okay, he's invincible at the moment. Why is he invincible? Because there's certain enemies. Okay, there's certain enemies feeding into him. That's good to know. Let's take out this guy then. 
Okay, he's now attackable. Let's drop another uh, spot on him. Just want to keep moving around him. So I was originally quite... Um, I wasn't sure about this game. Because I thought it was just going to be another, like... Um, what's it called? Uh, when they... Fire... Okay, let's have a look. I thought it was just going to be another rip-off. Like a... What's it called? Range effects. That's very good. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I thought this was going to be another asset flip. That's what it's called. Uh, just because the look of the game. Because it's like a certain... Games that normally look like this tend to likely be an asset flip. But this, I'm quite ple pleasant. This is quite well fleshed out, to be honest. Uh, so we need to get to level 12. So we can make our way back to the castle. I need to definitely make my um, weapon stronger. That's for sure. Talking of weapon, making them stronger. Obtain the hand crank generator. Shoot out. No, I don't need that. Don't need that. Movement speed, equipment damage. Ooh. No, don't need that either. Darkness, movement speed, darkness damage. So my weapon does darkness damage, doesn't it? It does. 30% extra... Yes, let's take that. 100% extra damage. As in, it doesn't do 100% extra damage. It does um, does 30% extra damage, but I'm going to 100% choose it. There we go. Jump on this. He's shot away. Almost got my second medal as well. I did lose my killing spree, unfortunately. The range of this is insane now. My first attack being a crit as well. It's really quite nice. So we're going to make our way up to the throne. I know loads of mobs will follow me up there. And as they follow me up there, I'll be able to just walk straight into them. And they should all die, in theory. And there is a chest up there as well. Nice. Johnny's here. That's an axe. Nice. What have we got here? Range damage. No. Melee. Significantly. So does this count as melee or is it range? It's melee and range. Okay. Let's re roll. Attack speed. Curses. No, I kind of like my attack speed. Nuclear generator. Every four seconds shoots. No, that doesn't help me very much. Melee attack speed. No. No. Don't want any of those. Armor and armor cap both by... That's really useful. Melee damage. Does this count as melee? It does, doesn't it? It does. Melee damage, movement speed. Let's go for that. So I want to just be able to walk forward. And just essentially kill everything as I'm walking forward. Which this seems quite capable of doing that, that's for sure. Obtain the Teletubbies. <laughs> when scoring critical hits, brings down... Yes. Every time I hit an enemy, it's a critical hit. Every single time. Well, not every single time, but whenever it's a... Um, my first hit on an enemy, should be a crit. Let's drop some lightning over there, or some darkness. Then we can slowly make our way back. Just throwing these backwards. I'm surprised this counts as a melee weapon as well. But I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Ouch. Ooh. That guy actually managed to get a shot off of me. Lady Luck, what have you got for me? Um, Don't want any of those. Darkness. This does darkness damage, doesn't it? Yes. Dark damage and melee damage. Let's go for that. So that's 50% damage increase. So I now go to the next altar. Uh, where was the altar again? Um, so it's down here, turn left. Golden cludgel. Nope, don't want a golden cludgel. If I can find a, a rare version of this, I'll be very happy. Obviously it's not going to be guaranteed. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's a cool looking um, samurai sword. 
in there. Holy twins. We're going to go check this last one out. Go to the... Okay, that's not what we want. Uh, is there anything good on here? Next upgrade will be uh, epic or above. Awesome. Alright, let's grab this. Darkness. Obtain Revenant Shield. Armor increase. Melee upgraded to melee damage. Treated as... Got the damage. Nah. Let's go to the next one. Um, but, 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 but when attacking... Um, stop melee attacks for 1.5 seconds. No, I don't want any of those. Fire damage. No. Kill an enemy. Crop an enemy. Cause them. No, don't want that. In case... Don't want that either. So I'm getting really bad ones here. That's quite good. Gives me a, a regen, a health regen. Dark damage, fire damage. Ooh, that does affect my weapon. Got two more resets here. Okay, an enemy. I, can't, I don't have any corrupted enemies at the moment. Lightning damage. Obtain this. It's just going to have to be this one then, isn't it? A little bit more lightning damage. So we've got an ancient titan. We've got Tiny. I think we fought Tiny last time as well. He wasn't too bad. Uh, so I had to use my... Well, I didn't have to. I used my um, right button skill. Whatever it's called. My special ability. Ouch. Okay, I did 18 damage. It's fair, fair bit of damage. So I've got my third, um, I didn't notice, so I've got my third uh, medal now as well. Every 66 seconds, the Overlord appears to cut enemies within a certain range, reducing the, yep, yeah, let's get to that. Oh, oh, that's another big hit. I just want to just keep running around in circles around him. If you can stay on that, that stone thing, that'd be amazing. Can't believe how much uh, damage that does. Not just to him, but to all the other mobs around him. There you go, this might finish him off. That's oh, close. If I can get two of these, I'll be very happy. Right. So we've got reroll. A bit more experience, another reroll. Each piece of equipment, nope. Melee damage. Um, yeah, it's, let's increase everything to that. We've got a fireball. We've got a flame lord. Let's restore my health. Let's go for flame lord. And we can make our way out. So we are three levels away from fighting the next boss. It's going a lot quicker than it did last time, that's for sure. Let's grab this. Okay, there's nothing good there. Uh, we grab this um, weapon crate over here as well. Let's cast our spell back here. Uh, Demon skull. Okay, exactly the same as what I've got. Did take a bit of damage there. Blade of evil. Interesting. But no, don't want that. Hades spear. Once again, don't want that. Let's get launched out of here. Don't want to, we don't want to sit inside that castle so we can help it. Um, it's a shame that that's not the weapon I want. It sounded cool though. Let's cast a fireball behind me. It's not a fireball, it's a darkness ball. But you get what I mean. Alright. Darkness, crit damage, darkness. Yep, yeah, go straight for that every, every single time of the day. Do we have any chests we need to open up? Okay, there's a few down here on the right-hand side. There's a whole part of the map I've not even explored as well. Uh, Redeemer. Okay, that's not anything I want. Okay, I've got my Earth Shaker. That's an that's a, uh, epic or a legendary. Chaos Sword, another legendary. Does darkness damage? 
Let's, let's, let's use this. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing. <laughs> darkness damage, increase my darkness damage again. Yes, please. Okay, this is amazing. I may have found my favorite weapon. So I don't even need to attack. My weapon does all the uh, effort for me. I do need one more level. Uh, let's grab some more armor. If I can find some armor while I'm out and about, that'd be awesome. We are very close to leveling up as well. The Holy Twins, that's not what I want. What are you? Okay, my HP is full. Awesome. I just kind of wanted some armor, however, but that's fine. Flame wheels. No, not very useful. At least not anymore. Uh, nope, not what I want. I'm quite happy that we've got quite a lot of rare, like quite a lot of uh, luck. Another reroll option. I am, I am just about to level up, which is good. Some more armor here, which is good. A little armor would be nice. Yeah, there we go. That's the level we wanted. Uh, we've got three rerolls here. Fire damage, no. Every ignition damage, no, don't want that one. Uh, within a certain range, no. Each melee attack consists of two hits. That's pretty good. So let's go for that. Uh, let's activate this. So, let's keep away from the right hand side. That's what got me last time. There's some form of like tornado. Oh, uh, there's three horsemen. Uh, so I'm just going to run around in circles, I guess. I uh, have a fireball. I need to be careful of that wind that's blowing me. Okay, it's still blowing me, so I just need to work with it rather than work against it. But they are taking a lot of damage here. They are taking a lot. Of when they're in melee range, they are dying. One down, two down, just the last one. Dodo, Dodo's down. Uh, Rerolled, nothing good there. Uh, da, 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 da. Damage, attack speed. I think that's probably the way forward, that one. Can I keep going? Because I think I'm called, they call the Air Force to bomb the designated area. Yes. Why would I not? Okay, looks like I'm going to enter hell. Like I just press... Now we're in a hell, wherever this is. Hell Titan Satan. Let's see if we can take Satan out. Oh, get out of that, get out of that. I'm not, I'm not too worried about his ads at spawn, to be quite honest. As long as I can slowly take him down, I'm still okay about. This is awesome. Oh, oh good. Okay, just keep away from him. Back to call in an airstrike. <laughs> it's a police helicopter. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, oh, I think I've found my favorite game. I think I'm going to be playing this a lot. Right, keep out of that. Just keep moving. Then go back to attacking. He's going to spawn a load of mobs. It's fine. Just got to make sure he doesn't hit me. I don't know how much damage he's going to do, but if I can just avoid being hit, that'd be awesome. I don't know whether it wants me to take that demon's blood weapon. It's a bit weird that it's just remained here. so good. Just walk around in circles around him works like a charm. Okay, he's going to do a special move now. Let's move away. Oh, get out of that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, got to be very careful now. Uh, my own stupidity almost died. Keep, keep as far away from him as possible. Right, just keep hitting him. Can we 
We're doing really well here. Okay, keep her out of this. Just keep moving because he's going to jump at me. Summon a load of enemies. Just watch what he does. And as he does it, just keep, keep moving away from him. There you go, use my helicopter attack. Oh, oh, oh. So that sucked into him then. There you go. He's got a quarter health left. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good, good. Okay, he's summoning his thing. Let's keep out of that. Let's keep moving away because he's going to jump at me. There he is. He's going to summon a load of mobs. Let's just quickly take out all these mobs. Get slightly closer back to him as well. There you go, just keep walking around him. He's almost down. We're doing so well here. No! No! Ah! That was a perfect run. One who has been to hell. Clear the prologue, the trial. So we've done the prologue. Killed all three bosses. Uh, only 79.11% of people have, have done that, apparently. DPS kills. My favorite weapon is this. Yeah, it makes sense. Sacred ability. Yeah, call an airstrike. So these are my... Kill at least 600 infected with melee damage. Worship force shrines. Open 20 crates. 350 damage. Take... So it took a lot of damage. And kill more than 1,500. Awesome. Uh, let's continue. I thought there were only three demons. What was that thing at the end? That's Satan, the lord of all demons. When he, the Avatar Wrath, shows up, it means hell has launched a full-scale invasion. The plague will never end unless you kill him. Kill him? How am I supposed to do that when I can't even scratch him? Well, I almost killed him. It's okay. Have the Holy Communion and you'll have the power to defeat Satan. But watch out for his hellfire. Once hit, You'll be insinuated and end up in hell. We won't be able to revive you if that happens. About my daughter. You better keep your word. That is very loud. So what do I unlock here? So I unlocked it the hunter. Football player. Hunter the hunter by completing two games. Football player for killing 3,000 infected. The king for completing the prologue. Uh, completed pincer movement. The character story for the gladiator by the looks of it. Got a new sacred ability of Tesla Cage, new one of Busan Walker, and a blind monk, new, new talent. Defeat Ancient Titan Tiny twice. <laughs> chapters unlocked, chapter one, the Messiah. Ah, oh, so there's loads of chapters to do as well. Okay, that's cool. Um, so that's only a fraction of the map. And then the four bosses are up here. And here's the next one with all the bosses. New content. Need to defeat Lord Hell Lord. Satan zombie. Zombies are more diverse. And small numbers of elite infected appear. Unlock new areas. Forest and desert. So forest is down here. Desert's obviously at the top here. That's cool. Uh, let's return back. So story mode. There's loads of different modes in this. That's that's really cool. I'm. This could very well be the new game I spend my life playing. So what's so special about the hunter? So he starts off. Do I have any of. No, I need to complete chapter 2 or above. Fine. So he starts off as summon. A default summoned entity, the hound. Weapon attacks mark enemies. All your summoned entities will focus their attack on marked enemies. Summoned entities deal 35% more damage against marked enemies. That's pretty good. So he's essentially just summons loads of troops. The football player. Collisions of enemies knock back. And deal weapon damage. Faster movement deals higher damage. Movement speed increases as you move. Max increase is 40%. Reset when taking hits or coming to a halt. He's probably not a class I'm going to play, to be quite honest. And the king. Oh, he's got a big blunder bust. Don't let the king say... Right, so leveling up grants an extra chance to reset talents. Not stackable. Okay. You have 10 talent resets by default. Talent option plus one upon reaching even numbered. At seven times levels, all available talent options will be legendary. That's really good. So I think the king could be quite useful. 
How do I use skulls? What are skulls? Oh, I guess skulls are the in-game currency. Oh, no, no. So I can unlock these early. So if I want this one... So that gives me medals. Uh, Fury grows when doing damage with melee weapons. Can have up to 50% damage increase. When Fury is full, damage from the next uncommon hit is reduced to 1. Then Fury is reset. So I can unlock that using skulls. Spot of water, there we go. Then the next one will cost... So that one, I don't have enough skulls to unlock, but it's up here. So I can choose what I want to go for. So I can start with the King of the Arena, Spartan Warrior, or this one. Um, Fury grows, building... Yeah, so that's Fury. When Fury is full, enter Berserk mode for 8 seconds. During which movement speed. Oh, so you, so you can just buy them by killing loads of mobs. Um, I can have a drink as well. This is just more stuff. Okay. Greatly increases the chance of refreshing melee talents. So you can just... Uh, oh. So these are just um, these are just buffs. You drink it ale, grants its effect at the start of the next game. So greatly increases the chance of refreshing... Right. There's a lot to learn here. There's a lot to pick up. But I'm, pick I'm definitely uh, enjoying what they've got here. Particle accelerator, two beams. Got a wheelchair for... God, oh, that's cool. What does Busan Walker do? Um, drives the Doom Truck into a rampage. Okay, fine. It's a meme from uh, Train to Busan. But we will end this episode here because this is just so much. Really enjoyed this game. Uh, so this is Apocalyptic Party or Apocalypse Party. We've got loads of other um, characters. So you've got... You can actually just buy them outright if you don't want to. It's cool. So you've got Prince, uh, Sheriff, Merchant, Valkyrie. Valkyrie would be cool. Every two attacks, the next attack has a 40% large radius. That's really useful. Uh, Rogue, Alchemist, Frost Mage, Electronic Musician, Executioner. Killing, and killing enemies to collect skulls. Press space to offer up the collected skulls to the Doom. Offering 75 increases all types of damage by... That's good. We've got Joker, Paladin. Oh, he looks cool. Forager, Ranger, Father. Fund manage, Manager. An Engineer. Some random girl. Gang Leader, Special Forces. Uh, Cataphract. It could be the Undead. Undead's cool. Gain free curses. Each curse grants you all types of damage. That's nice. Epidemic Worker. Oh, it's cool. Soul Priest, Agent Swat. I'm going to go for all these. Deathwalker, Hellbringer. Oh, Hellbringer looks cool. Looks like you even start with those skulls. We've got the Queen. For the Queen. Animal Tamer. Bard. Sword Master. That obviously says Master. <laughs> GC Crew Member. Director. Dark Lord. Let's... I might unlock the Dark Lord. But we'll end this here. So I keep getting, keep getting distracted. Ah, we actually almost unlocked him. Just got to kill 3,000 enemies with dark magic. With dark damage. So I'll probably get that next. This guy, I'll probably aim to try and unlock him. I like, the, I like what he's putting down. He looks cool as well. He's obviously sour. Right, I, I keep getting distracted. So the link to this game will be in the description. I do recommend it. It is multiplayer as well. So I can join my uh, random people if I have their join list. So I can create a room and people can join me. Uh, if I, I can set it to public, uh, so people, random people can join me, we can play multiplayer, which is pretty cool. So you've made it this far, thank you for watching, uh, thanks for watching this uh, Sunday fun day. I have really enjoyed this, and we'll see you either the next video, or the next Sunday fun day, which will be next week. We play another indie game, potentially a demo, we'll see how that goes. So have a wonderful day, and peace out.